Tonight, the former director of national intelligence said that he has never ruled out evidence of collusion between Trump associates and Russia during the campaign, directly contradicting President Trump, who tweeted just hours earlier when James Clapper himself and virtually everyone else with knowledge of the witch hunt says there is no collusion. When does it end? In fact, in an interview today with MSNBC, Clapper said he believes there was no evidence that came that rose to that level at that time uh, that found its way into the intelligence community assessment, which we had pretty high confidence in. That's not to say there wasn't evidence, uh, uh, but not that met that threshold. But during the White House press briefing, Sean Spicer insisted it is James Clapper who is changing his story. It is interesting how the story has changed. And now suddenly it's saying, I wasn't sure about it. That the burden seems to be on him, not us. Today, Director Clapper also expressed doubts about Mr. Trump's version of a dinner with fired FBI Director James Comey in January. He says it was Trump who invited Comey. He had been invited uh, to the White House to have dinner with uh, the president. And that the former FBI chief was uncomfortable with the invitation. They were in a difficult position to refuse to go, so, but I do know he was, he was uneasy with it. Uh, for uh, just for the, the appearance of compromising the independence of, of, of the FBI. The dinner came just one day after then Acting Attorney General Sally Yates warned the White House that then National Security Advisor Michael Flynn could be compromised by Russia. That timing raising concerns about White House interference in the FBI's ongoing investigation into whether Trump campaign associates colluded with the Russian government. CNN has learned that Comey was, quote, taken aback when Trump asked him to pledge his loyalty during the dinner. A source close to Comey tells CNN the FBI chief refused and instead promised to always be honest with the president. In fact, FBI employees pledged to be loyal only to the U.S. Constitution, not to any individual, including the president. All of us in the FBI, our focus, hyper-focus, is on fealty to the mission, not fealty to a politician, not fealty to any person. The president has claimed that Comey assured Mr. Trump that he was not under investigation related to the Russia probe and that Comey asked Trump to keep him on as FBI chief. A source tells CNN this is a fabrication, that Comey did not ask to keep his job and that in fact, just three days earlier, the president told Comey he would stay on as FBI director. The source adds the former FBI chief is, quote, not worried about any recorded conversations between him and the president after Trump issued a thinly veiled threat to Comey, tweeting, quote, James Comey better hope that there are no tapes of our conversations before he starts leaking to the press. Now, Director Comey has turned down an invitation to testify before the Senate Intelligence Committee next week. A source with firsthand knowledge of Comey's thinking tells me that he just wants to lay low for a while and take some time off.